Hi everyone! So today I filmed a full face using only black owned brands and I literally love the result. Everything is super bronzy and dewy and I will be using some Pat McGrath, Fenty Beauty and mostly a lot of the new Danessa Myrick that's available at Sephora now. I'm so glad that Sephora carries this now but oh my god yeah! This is the finished look. Subscribe if you already haven't and if you want to see how I did this face using pretty much only black owned brands and please keep on watching. I'm excited to get started. So to prime, I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty um, Soft Silk Hydrating Primer. Okay, um, um, I really like this one because it's super hydrating and I feel like it just makes like the foundation or anything that I put under it go on really smoothly because I do have like dry skin. Okay, so now that I'm all prepped and primed, I'm gonna go in with the Danessa Myricks Vision Cream Cover 2-in-1 foundation and concealer. I got the shade um two or N2. So this is what it looks like and I'm just gonna go in with it. I don't know if I have to shake it so <sighs> better to be safe than sorry. Apply using fingers, a sponge, or brush. On clean moisturized skin for more sheer coverage, mix with your fave moisturizer, Prism FX Hydrating Lotion, or Beauty Oil. Okay, so it sounds pretty versatile. Please be my color, please be my color, please be my color, please be my color. Ugh, okay, yes! This does look like my color. Ugh, okay, hopefully. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one side with a brush and then the other side with a sponge. But regardless, I'm gonna be applying this with my fingers first, kind of dotting on where I usually need. Oh my god. It was in this moment that I realized I fucked up. <laughs> Girl, this, oh my god, I think this is one pump, I forgot how much I did, but I'm just gonna settle at that. I don't like my foundation to be too heavy, I usually, especially with masks right now, I usually try to concentrate it just around my eye area and then like on the temples of my forehead where I have like some acne scar like right here and right here. Again, I will be using products here and there that are not black owned, but for the most part it is. This is a spray from Caudalie, it's a grape water spray, I just want to... Make sure my face stays hydrated. So this side, I'm gonna go in with a brush. Looks a little pink, actually. Girl, this might have been a little too, oh. I'm not, first of all, I'm not used to using a brush. Second of all, I am not a high coverage gal. Like, I'm just not. And this is like mega coverage. <laughs> Let's kind of dot the excess around because Lord. I'm gonna do the same for the other side. It's definitely a full coverage. This is definitely not... I thought I read something online that it said that it was like medium to full or even like that you could share it out to be light. I I guess the box did say that you can use this with like a moisturizer and kind of thin it out, which I'm gonna do next time, but this is definitely not light coverage as you can see. Ugh. I don't know if that's a dry patch or if the foundation dried. It does look like it's giving me time to blend it, which is good. Oh my god, I look like a ghost on the camera. Hi, sisters! Okay, well, I have some bronzers and stuff to warm up my face. Hopefully that fixes it. But yeah, it looks like this is pretty blended out. So next I'm gonna go in with a sponge on this side. The finish is looking like a neutral. It's not setting matte, which I like. I do not like matte foundations because they tend to cling onto my dry patches. And this does not look like it's clinging onto my dry patches whatsoever, which I really enjoy. This is the foundation brush side, sponge side. I am kind of liking the brush side a little bit more honestly I'm kind of shocked it's looking a lot more like floss and seamless and on this side it just seems like it's more splotchy I don't know if it's because I let the foundation dry a little bit um while I was blending the other side but also this foundation shade is a little too light <gasps> oh okay so moving on to the powder bronzer also from Danessa Myricks matte bronzing and shaping cream our Coveted powder bronzers, long wearing blendable buildable cream bronzing base with a matte finish. Our creamy formula naturally sculpts, shakes, and defines by softly shading the contours of the face. Effortly melt power bronzer into your skin with your fingertips, a sponge or a brush. Okay, and then I got the shade light for anyone wondering. 
This is the packaging, so let's open her up for the first time. Ooh, love that. Okay, let's go in. <gasps> it's super creamy. Ooh, I love that. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna go in. Okay, so I would usually put, ooh! ooh! <gasps> oh my God, that literally, oh, hold on. <gasps> You guys, I'm not even... First of all, this shade is gorgeous. It's not too orange or anything. I'm definitely going to be able to give the um, warmth this back into my skin. But... <gasps> I... Well, you guys are seeing how it's blending. But it's blending so easy. Like, I'm not even having to, like, put too much pressure. Like, too much effort into it at all. It's definitely doing, like, the job for me. I love that. <gasps> I'm gonna use my beauty blender to try to blend this one out. Ooh! Ooh, it blends out real good with the beauty blender, too. I do feel like it picks up a little bit of the product on the beauty blender, but, you know, I did like the way I did it with my fingers, so... And I'm only going in super heavy right now because of the foundation. I usually wouldn't go this heavy, but... Okay, next up, I'm gonna go in with this Denessa Myricks. Am I pronouncing that right? Denisa Denessa Myricks? Vision Flush Lip, Cheek, and Eye Color. Multi this unique multi-purpose formula provides a wash of color with a satin semi-matte finish that can be used on the eyes, lips, cheeks, that wears all day long. But yeah. Ooh, I love the packaging for the foundation in this. It's, ooh. Okay, this actually looks like it's going to be a little bit too bronzy. Um, I was going to use this. Well, you know what? I'll just, I'll go in with a little bit on my cheeks, you know? We're just going to go all out today. Um... I thought this was going to be a little bit more peachy, but you know, hopefully this doesn't have that much, or hopefully I'm using just an, you know, I'm just going to start out with that. If I want to add more, I can add more. I may use this on my lips towards the end. I was noticing on the Sephora app that a lot of her colors have this like taupey, purpley base to them, which I love. I love taupey colors. And I felt like I've had a hard time trying to find, like, a good taupey everything because, like, a lot of products on the market are, like, very orange or very, like, sun-kissed kind of thing. And I'm just not into that. And these are giving, like, such a beautiful taupey, like, oh my god, I look so ghostly on camera. Oh my god, I look so ghastly. Uh, you know what? I may just end up, like, mixing this foundation into my regular everyday foundation. Just because it is a little ghastly, like this is looking a little Casper the Ghost. So next up, I'm gonna use a little bit of this um, Fenty Cream Blush. I already have used this, I've already had this before, so I've used this before, it's kind of gross, but I'm just gonna use this to add a little bit like a rosiness back into my cheeks because I feel like I'm a little orange right now. Or not orange, just like a little too bronze. Gonna add that to the temples of my cheeks. Is that what they're called? Temples? Okay, so now I'm gonna powder my face and I'm so excited to try this out. This is the Pat McGrath um, Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Setting Powder. I've been wanting to try something from Pat McGrath for so long. This is in the shade Light One, I believe. Yeah, Light One. It says it's weightless, buildable, microfine setting powder, runway tested, mother approved. Love that. So let's give this a try. It says that it's supposed to be a very fine powder, so we will see about that, Miss Pat. First impression. <gasps> Ooh, that is super fine. Okay, that's going to be perfect. I'm just going to set under the eyes and places where I feel like I tend to crease up a lot. Oof, I don't like putting... I don't know why I did that. I don't like putting powder in my forehead because... Usually, I get, like, my forehead lines. I don't know. They cling to powders a lot. So, oof, I do not like that brush for that. I'm going to use this stippling brush. This is usually the brush that I use to kind of brush my powder everywhere. I'm not sure if it was the powder or if it was the foundation, but it seems like it is kind of coagulating. It's not agreeing with each other, but, you know, I don't know. Throughout the day, it'll probably, like mend all together once I put on my setting spray but 
First impressions of the powder. I like it. I feel like it does what a powder is supposed to do. Next product I'm going to use is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Instant Warmth Bronzer. Uh, this is in the shade Into Sun, number one. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a nice little hexagon. Oh, it's so clean. Ready? I'm about to ruin y'all's life. Oh, that wasn't even that dirty. <laughs> okay. <sighs> okay. I'm going to take that film right off and just swirl my brush and start going in. So first impressions. Ooh. It's nice and light. That's good. I like the color on the pan. It's also seeming to be like kind of a grayish bronzer. I think next time I use this foundation, I'm not going to use as much and or I'm going to concentrate it on the areas where I'm trying to bring light into my skin because right now I feel like I just brought so much light next time I'm just going to put it like right here. Okay, this bronzer is definitely also a 10 out of 10. I'm loving this bronzer. It's so easy to blend out. I'm not having any problems with it whatsoever. And yeah, love it. Okay, so next up, I'm really excited. This is the thing that I was super excited for. This is the um, Danessa Myricks Color Fix, the matte um, liquid pigments. And I got the colors Exposed and Blackout. And I will be using the color Exposed on my whole lid and then maybe doing a liner with the blackout i'm not sure so i'm gonna just swatch this on my hand just a little bit and then kind of blend it out and see what that looks oh that's feeling good that's creamy oh my god that's super pigmented with the little bit that i put on that is blending so the all these products are blending out so amazingly okay also this palette thing is so useful i got it on amazon and I've been like putting all my products, like all my cream products on here. And it's just made it so much easier for me to just blend and do whatever I need to do. On a little bit with my brush. Not too much. Because, lord. The other things, packed a punch. So, I'm going to go in with this. Ooh. Oh, I love how... Topi, this is this is such a beautiful color and it's blending so far so good that blended out pretty easily on my eyelids so for this next eye i'm gonna go in straight with my fingertip and see how that goes if it's easier to blend with your fingers or the brush Ooh, <gasps> 10 times prefer the finger like this is so easy i feel like the brush had a hard time like kind of blending out picking up the product and with the warmth of your finger it really just blends out like a dream oh my god that was so easy the brush literally took me like a minute or two and i know some of us sometimes are we're in a hurry we're very quick and products like these are going to be really good because it's just so easy to blend so easy to apply and these are multi-use you can use this on your cheeks lips eyes anything okay so definitely prefer the finger a lot more. I definitely, yeah, finger is like 10. And then drink a little bit of coffee because my camera's about to die and I need to hurry. I'm almost done. You know what? I'm just gonna go for it. So the color blackout, I'm gonna kind of smoke it out towards the outer portion of the eye. Let me clean my little palette here. I'm going to use a teensy weensy bit of this and I'm actually going to spray some water on there to make sure that it's very watered out. I'm going to use a MAC. Oh girl, this brush is so old. I do not know what that says. Okay. Very lightly pack this on. Oh my god, that seems like a lot still and I like barely tried to pick up any product. Okay. That's not bad at all. Black is such a dangerous color because, like, if you put too much on, like, sis, you're over. Like, you can't really fix it. But if you lightly pack it on, you can still get away with it. I just want, like, a bit of a smokier eye. Okay, so that was both of the color fixes on my eye. So I haven't put on mascara or anything yet, but this is what these are looking like. Love them so far. No creasing because I get creasing in here almost no matter what. But... I've been trying to find a way. Oh my god, I have black on this brush. <laughs> but yeah, I've been loving this. 
you know, this is what they look like right now. I'm actually going to finish um, my eye off camera and then I'll return for the final two things, which I'm so excited for. So I am back. I did my lips and eyes off of camera. All the stuff that I use for my eyes is not black owned beauty, but um, I used Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara, Dior Show Mascara, um, a Mario Brightening Eye Pencil, Rare Beauty Liner, and then these lashes, I don't know where they are. If you are curious where they're from, I can let you know. I just don't know off the top of my head. And then all the lip stuff. So I started out by adding a bunch of white foundation on my lips, and then I went in with the um, Exposed Color Fix. That's the lip color all around. And then for the white inner portion, I use the foundation. I usually like to make this part white and the top part black. Um, so then, of course, for the black, I went in with this. And now, for the part that I'm super excited for, actually, I'm going to set this so that I can um, be ready to use cream products on top. So I'm going to set all my face right now. Okay, so yeah, now I'm going to go into... The two things that I'm most excited for, this is the Duet Highlighting Facial Balm, and this one is the Glaze, the Long um, Wear gl uh, Gloss. This is in clear, and then this one's also clear. They do have other colors in these, but I wanted to try both of these out before I picked up any other color. I'm just going to literally go right in. I'm like a little kid in a candy factory right now. Like, I've been wanting to find the perfect dewy kind of gloss thing. And it seemed, this is actually how I came across um, Danessa Myricks. Literally on the day of release, I was in Sephora's app in the middle of the night trying to find the perfect gloss. I saw that Gucci had one, Tower 28, um, Makeup by Mario, they had one, but they all seemed like very watery and like kind of like Vaseline. But then I came across this and this is literally, I don't know if you, let me try to focus it. It's literally, so let me swatch this. I don't know, it's so light, which I really liked about it. So I'm just gonna go right in. I'm so excited. Okay, all right, I'm just gonna go right in. Okay, ooh, that was nice. Okay, just on the high points of my cheek. I'm not gonna go too crazy. I'm just gonna apply a little bit and then, cause I'm gonna go crazy with the, with the gloss. We'll go crazy with those. But, ooh, this is leaving my skin nice and dewy. I love it so far. Ooh, on the brow bone. <gasps> Fuck, I said it. Sorry, or whatever. <gasps> on my brow bone? You're kidding. Oh my god. I don't even care. I'm gonna look like an oil slick. I do not care. Give me the cream. It doesn't look like my products are separating at all either, which is really good because sometimes I'll use products like this and I'll pat them on and I can visibly see like my product um, leaving my skin or like it patching up or whatever. So I think that's all I'm going to do with this. I'm very impressed with this over here. It looks amazing and it doesn't. Let me see how it feels. I mean, you're, regardless, you're going to feel like you have something on your skin, but it's not too bad. It just feels like a very dewy, wet foundation, which I wear usually anyway. Now, so yeah, this was a 10 out of 10. I definitely recommend this as well, but the star of the show. I'm just going to get right to it. Like, y'all know what this is. I just want to, oh my god, oh my god. So it's the same squeezy tube as the, um, what are they called? Um, uh, the pigment things. So this is clear. They all have like this like cute little jewel packaging. Seal that nice and tight. I'm going to go in with this flat brush. I have to clean it a little bit. I'm so excited. Okay, all right. I'm gonna go, oh shoot, it's already spilling, shoot consistency of the product for those wondering it doesn't seem to be like sticky or like you know how, there you go it doesn't seem to be like picking up any goops or whatever Alrighty, let's do this okay so that is the glossy lip i love that i love this sort of lip Shoot. this is definitely very runny it's not thick at all i'm done with the lips now i'm gonna go in for the eyes i'm so excited i'm gonna zoom in for this one Let's do this. I'm going to start with the light layer and then me. I don't know. This seems to be a runny product and I'm scared if I put too much on, it's going to run down to like, you know, my lash band and stuff. But I'm going to try to put on it as much as I can before I believe it might start running. Oof. Okay. 
I love that. Love that. It's so beautiful. This is gorgeous. I love this. I literally love this. This is beautiful. This is everything, all I've ever wanted. That's among the high points of my cheek right here. Can you guys see that? Okay. I... I would say just use the balm because this is without, this is just the balm, right? And then this is with the gloss. I figured this would be weird on the cheeks. Um, I wouldn't use this on my cheeks. Maybe just a little bit, but I think the balm is just enough. Like, I don't need to go on top again with this. But I'm done. This is the finished look. I'm actually very happy with it. So I'll get a close up and I'll also do an outside shot right now. So you guys can see what this looks like in natural lighting. All right, so I am outside now, and this is what the finish is looking like. It doesn't look like my eyelids have creased too badly, but you know, it's a gloss. It probably will throughout the day, but who knows? Maybe this formula will be crease proof, but it's looking good so far. This is what the rest of my skin looks like. Yeah, definitely loving it so far. So this is my last check-in for the night. The foundation did look like it caked up and I'm gonna show you that it's not mask-proof. Mask-proof, mood. Mask-proof, like it kind of um, crumbled down on my nose and also my lippy went away. Um, I did eat twice and had a few drinks, so it's kind of gone by now. But yeah, this foundation, again, I chose the wrong shade, but like it, um, as for just the performance of it, it does look like it is kind of settling down. I don't know, the finish is weird, but I really like the bronzer still though, and the dewiness of the bombs is still there, so I like that. And then my liners, these are all, these are not from the Blackout, um, Danessa Myricks things, these are from my own proper liners, the Urban Decay one, but that's not, yeah, it's like, okay. But yeah, this is the final check-in for the night. So this is my second day of trying the products and I will say that I did want to redeem myself with the foundation shade. I mixed in the Danessa Myricks foundation with my everyday Dior face and body foundation and I really like the coverage and the color today. It was super easy to mix in and I will say the Pat McGrath powder is so amazing. It's so fine. I absolutely loved it today. I think I just had way too much product on yesterday but this is more so the kind of base that I like to do on an everyday basis. I haven't done my eyes yet but yeah, of course, both of the bronzers look really amazing today as well. Yeah, just kind of wanted to give y'all um, a closer look as to like how I usually do my makeup. But yes, everyone, this is the finished look. I hope you loved it as much as I did. I'm loving this. It's giving... Oh, this with wet hair is giving me like this. Every time I do this look, I think that I'm Christina Aguilera. Mood. Every time I do a dewy look like this, I feel like I'm this, ew, ignore my disgusting phone, but I always think of this photo shoot of Christina. It's like, oh, like the wet hair, like, who's who? Twin? Loves it. But yeah, I hope you guys liked this look as much as I loved creating it for you, and I'm so happy with all the products that I got. So a little wrap up. My favorite products, I'm going to do only three. How about three to really narrow it down? Mm, off the top of my head, probably my favorite product, very surprising, is the light um, powder bronzer. This was amazing. Like literally, oh my god, I can't wait for y'all to feel this in the tips of your finger, but this blends out like a dream. If you're going to pick something up from this collection, definitely pick this up. This was like, I did not expect to love this as much as I did. So Love this. Next up, um, mm, probably this, because it's so versatile. I use it on my lips. I use it here. Honestly, in a pinch, I can use this as a bronzer, too, as, like, a blush shade, too, honestly. But this was really cool. I loved this. Definitely going to be using... This is definitely going to replace the taupey shade that I love to use, because this is my favorite eyeshadow shade. And it's, like, very similar. I hit pan on it. I've had this palette for four years, but I love that kind of gray taupey shade. So this is definitely staying in my collection. And lastly, I think if you were going to choose one of these, I would say this one because this one's a little bit lighter and it feels like you can kind of pack it on and it's not as slippery as the gloss. And I feel like you can use like any gloss on your lips, but then like using like a lip gloss like on your eyelids sometimes it can be a little funky since it's not made for your eyelids and you can use this on the eyelids and it's not going to move around 
But yeah, I would say these three are my favorite from the Danessa Myricks brand. I love these and I can't wait to order more of these. Like, this is so awesome. Oh my god, mood? What is that? Shit. <laughs> Oh my god, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I really enjoyed trying all these new products out, and I hope you'll pick up something from the Danessa Myricks launch. It is gonna be at Sephora in April, I believe, so definitely get your hands on it. And yeah, if you liked it, go ahead and leave a like down below, a comment. Please, if you have any questions about the products, I'll, I'll be glad to answer them. I'm always looking at my comments, and please subscribe if you're not already, and thank you, and I hope you have a lovely day. Blessings from me to you. Bye, everyone.